Nissan has just unveiled the Nissan Aria Nismo and I'm struggling a little bit to figure out who this car is actually for because when I think of the base Nissan Aria I did a in-person review about a year ago and it wasn't the most fun car to drive so I would assume that the buyers of the Nissan Aria are not really that much into the driving experience you just want an EV that looks good by the way from point to that take them to point A to point B so this feels almost like putting a sumo wrestler in a 100 meter sprint it's just not gonna work out well but it looks fantastic so what we're gonna do in this video is gonna, I'm gonna show you the changes that are made to this design that makes it a whole different car in my opinion even from the base very beautiful looking Nissan Aria we're also gonna talk about some of the spec and tech from this article from Car and Driver so let's have a look at this before we jump into Photoshop so the Nismo Efied EV crossover has exclusive styling obviously Nismo styling with some red accents a retuned chassis a higher peak output compared to the standard version and we hope at least uh, Car and Driver hopes that this will come to the US and I think it actually probably will so Nissan says the more powerful version will launch in the spring in Japan and we're hopeful it will make its way stateside shortly after. The Nissan Aria is already more compelling option than the Nissan Leaf before it and I totally agree with that both when it comes to the design, the technology. Nissan Leaf was a very early EV and it's pretty cool that Nissan was that early by putting up an EV. The Nissan Aria Nismo is based on the brand's E-Force model which adds a second electric motor to the rear axle and give it all-wheel drive and some extra power. There will be two different variants, one base B6. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is the, the variants that are on sale right now, I can't really remember or if this is actually the, the two Nismo versions. I think this is just the Aria versions. The base one B6 with 362 horsepower 413 pound feet of torque and then you have the more powerful B9 which makes 429 horsepower and 443 pound feet of torque from the larger 91 kilowatt hour battery here you can see the interior we have new seats for the Nismo and I do love the design of these seats it looks like we do have some Alcantara here in the middle uh, not sure if this is a proper leather or not but it looks leather like it's a very clean almost chiseled like seat more on that when we talk about the interior in Photoshop you also have 20 inch wheels and these wheels are some of the best looking EV wheels I've ever seen they look fantastic and it look like they could fit on a Nissan Z Nismo they just look really cool and very Nismo like which I like and as they say here they don't know how much faster the Nismo version will be yet the E-Force Platinum Plus managed to go from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds which they say here is adequate but not thrilling and I mean <laughs> 5 seconds 0 to 60 today for an EV is factually pretty slow but if you think back just five or ten years 0 to 60 in five seconds for a, for a heavy SUV like this it was a fantastic number so that's where we have reached now when it comes to performance of, of EVs so Nissan the, the Nismo team they wanted to improve acceleration and the sense of excitement when driving the car and I think this is the biggest challenge today when it comes to EV it feels like the engineers are trying to put a lot of you know weird tech into the cars to the EVs to make them more exciting to to experience and to drive and a lot of that has to do with sound these days Mercedes did a uh, collaboration with Will I Am that has a soundtrack when you accelerate you add some beats to the car and when you turn left it adds a different beats turning right it adds a different beat now imagine a song conducted by the road turn left turn right and a melody is sung it's just kind of strange there's also an option to add sounds that are evocative of Formula E racing now here you can see the interior and this is not a huge step up uh, you know in difference from the standard Aria but it does look a lot better with this color scheme and also the new seats the iconic red accents makes itself known along the bottom of the car typical Nismo styling while the interior is finished in black and red and equipped with chunkier sports bucket seats uh, up front so let's jump in here to Photoshop and have a look at this collage that I put together for you guys so you can see clearly uh, the difference between the regular Aria and the Aria Nismo and I think again, again this overall design I think it's a beautiful design I would encourage you to go check out my in-person review of it because I talk more about the design I can show you better when I have the car in front of me that's on the sketch monkey channel I'm gonna link that down in the description but now looking at the front end of the standard Aria it has this clean chisel design and this was a design that was very late to the game it was delayed several years if I remember correctly 
basically and it's still to this day in 2024 looks like a very modern design with this nice design in the front end the v motion grille is pretty much intact we have the daytime run lights here the big headlights up top so no bumper headlights and we have this little cut in in this beautiful chamfer that is pretty much the entire side of the front end here now looking at the nismo version they got a lot more sporty and i think this adds to this design we have now a a fin here or a wing inlet that is a lot bigger than what we have in the standard aria we still have sort of a chamfer here but it's more horizontal now you see this line doesn't go in and cut down here into this line so it, it's a bit of a clash here with the normal aria design but in the nismo design they straighten this up instead of having to go down here it now goes straight across the 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 lower section the intake the black graphic that we have down here which looks fantastic and so much better than the already beautiful aria that we have there we also have of course being nismo they got to add a big front lip at the lower section with this gloss black wings on the side adding a lot more sportiness to this car you also have a stripe on the hood up top adding some more graphic features to this design and you can clearly see that this is a nismo because it does have the red little pinstripe that goes all the way across the lower section of the car as you can see down here at the bottom now moving on to the side view and you can't really see the wheels here because it's spinning but the wheels on the regular aria right here feels very ev like because they're almost flat like a pancake and just a dish plate that they put onto the cars and that's a typical ev wheel because you want to cover up as much as possible for wind resistance and and so on and improve the range but it ha does have a very nice and chiseled shoulder line nice roof line that dips down in a beautiful way making it feel like a very sporty design specifically with this wing back here now we have an added wing in this area for the the nissan nismo we still have of course the shoulder line being intact right here i do like this nismo blue color i've seen it on the nissan z nismo as well and here you can see this red line at the bottom section stretching all the way into the back and here is this added piece we have a bit of a small little dark tail back here again adding almost like a dual wing situation with this roof line going into this big black wing in the in the back and then you have this added ducktail to the design and it looks great it feels a little tall but they did a great job working with graphics to remove this height visually because the roof here is black and then you have this big black piece in the bottom cutting in to the body and removing some of this mass but looking again at these wheels i just want to focus a little bit more on the wheels because i think this this is what I want to see. It doesn't matter if you lose two, three, four miles of range, if you just have some openings in the wheels. And this is a fantastic looking wheel. And as I said, it feels like this could have been placed or, or uh, installed on the Nissan Z Nismo. It's such a sporty design. Now looking at the rear end, again, it just comes back as a beautiful design. We still have the same chamfer like we have in the front end, housing everything back here. We don't really have any big differences in the, in, in the taillight section or the this section in general compared to the regular Aria but as you can see the red accent still comes back here in the rear end is this a different diffuser though than what we have in the regular Aria I do think we have a little bit more wings we don't have these wings on the normal Aria that we have right here at least one little wing in that section then we have this Formula One light I do think that is actually the reverse light and here you can see this ducktail integration as well that, Niz that the Nismo team added to this design with this beautiful shoulder line very very sharp and creating a confident shoulder for this design to sit on top of last but not least here is the interior we can't really see the seats in these pictures but you can see there's, there's really not a lot of changes in in the overall layout for the design and i do think that is pretty normal when you come up with a nissan nismo version you don't want to change too much it's going to get too expensive if you create specific parts for the nismo you just want to play more with the graphics and one detail that is so strange in the aria interior are these buttons on the dash this is like in between physical buttons and uh, digital buttons because they're you can't really press the buttons they just have this tactile uh, feel to it when you press them but you can't see that you're actually pressing something you just feel it in your finger and you can also see that we do have of course the nismo red accents in this interior but i do think this is a pretty decent interior even though we do have dual screens pretty much just slapped on to the dash like this at least we do have some radiuses and some different designs to the outlines of the these screens but again this is what we get in evs today it would be cool to see this coming to the us but 
but again, I'm, I'm not sure who this car is for, because as I said, I do believe the buyers of the Aria are just looking for something. Nissan being a pretty reliable brand, they want an EV to take them from point A to point B, and they want to have a good looking EV. And I do think the Aria is a great car for that. When it comes to the driving dynamics though, it's definitely not one of the most fun EVs I've driven, but maybe that will completely change when they go in and introduce the Nissan Aria Nismo. Who knows?